Putin's poor showing of the military parade, because it's normally a massive show of Russian military might. And today was the day, uh, the parade day, and it was anything but. At one point, you could count it. Just one tank rolled across uh, Red Square, a sign that Putin's war in Ukraine may be taking a serious toll on the military. In pa past years, this parade was a very different scene, right? Scores of tanks on display, all kinds of flyovers. I mean, hypersonic missiles going by. That's, that's what it was. And yet, despite the muted event today, Putin uh, verbally was as defiant as ever, insisting that Russia is the one under attack after he, of course, invaded Ukraine. A real war is being waged against our country again. But we have countered international terrorism and will defend the people of Donbass and safeguard our security. Out front now, Ilya Ponomarev. He's a former Russian lawmaker who was forced into exile after he was the only Russian lawmaker to vote against Putin's annexation of Crimea in 2014. And Ilya, I so much appreciate your time tonight. So when you saw the images Thanks today of that, uh, the victory parade, right, and then just, you know, a bunch of uh, military vehicles and that one tank, what did you think? Yeah, and moreover, this tank was the T-34, that the main Soviet tank during World War II. Uh, so it's a little bit outdated. They uh, were removed from the production in 1945, immediately after the war. Uh, so, yeah, uh, basically it shows that Putin was really scared of the drone attack that happened on the uh, uh, May 3rd. Uh, he was afraid that it would be repeated um, on, on the May 9th. And that's why first he uh, took some hostages. He invited several leaders of uh, the CIA, uh, CIS uh, states, uh, this is Central Asian uh, states, to be next to him so that uh, nobody would dare uh, to launch a drone. And secondly, uh, they significantly downsize the parade so it would be short in time. So, you, you know, you mentioned the drone attack, and I know that the last time you were on the show, you talked about it. You said that it was the work of Russian partisans. And, of course, uh, you know uh, some many in the Russian opposition and, and, and Russian partisans. Do you believe that their attack on the Kremlin what, you really believe that was the, the main reason that Putin scaled back the parade? I think so. At least uh, all these discussions, they started immediately after that attack. And uh, after that attack, firstly, uh, they uh, canceled uh, uh, the evening reception in uh, the Kremlin. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, two days after that attack, they decided to invite uh, uh, those leaders of Central Asia because uh, Putin was afraid to show up by himself. So uh, briefly, it was uh, told by uh, Dmitry Peskov, his spokesperson, uh, that uh, Putin would appear by video conferencing on the, on the parade. And then uh, he said that he will be coming in person, but uh, accompanied with others. Hmm. So another thing at the parade, uh, the notorious arms dealer Victor Boot, right, had been the most high-profile uh, Russian serving time in American prison, right, was released in a prisoner swap for Brittany Griner, the U.S. basketball star. He appeared at the parade today, and uh, we're just looking at video of him there today. What did you think about that, Ilya? What does that mean to you? I think that they are showcasing uh, all the failed spies and uh, the different notorious people from across the world that uh, Putin is diligently collecting in Moscow. Uh, and that's just a gesture towards the United States. So, uh, you know, we don't care. Hmm. But uh, based on the, on the uh, length of the parade, they do care. Hmm. All right. Well, Ilya, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Good to have you back.